Welcome back. Before we proceed with scanning, I just want to give a basic overview of TCP and UDP protocol for anyone that is encountering it for the first time. We already mentioned what TCP and UDP are. They are two different protocols used for sending bits of data or also known as packets. TCP and UDP are not the only protocols that are out there, however, they are the most widely used ones. Let's talk about TCP first. So TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and it is the most commonly used protocol on the internet. When you load a web page, your computer is sending TCP packets to the web server address, asking it to send the web page to you. Then the web server responds by sending a stream of TCP packets, which your web browser stitches together to form the web page that you see. The same happens once you, for example, click on a link or sign in or post a comment. Your web browser sends TCP packets to the web server and the server sends TCP packets back. However, TCP is not a one-way communication. The remote system sends packets back to acknowledge that it received your packets. So TCP is based on three-way handshake. And as the name says, three-way handshake is consisted out of three steps. First one is SYN. In this step, the client wants to establish a connection with the server. So it sends a segment with SYN and what SYN stands for is synchronized sequence number, which informs server that client wants to start communication and with what sequence number it starts the segments with. After the SYN step comes the SYN ACK, which is the second step. And in this step, the server responds to the client request with SYN ACK signal bits set. ACK signifies the response of segment it received and SYN is the same from the first step. It signifies with what sequence number it is going to start the segments with. In the third and final step, which is just ACK, in this step, the client acknowledges the response of server and they both establish a reliable connection with which they will start the actual data transfer. This is just an example of TCP communication establishing between a client and a server. Once the data transfer starts, TCP guarantees the receiver will get the packets in order by numbering them. Then the server sends messages back to the sender saying it received the messages or packets. If the sender does not get the correct response, it will resend the packets to ensure the server got the packets. All of those packets are also checked for errors. So TCP is all about reliability. Packets sent with TCP are tracked so no data is lost or corrupted in transit. That's why once you download a file, for example over the internet, your file is working once you run it in your machine. Because it is being transferred with TCP, so all of the packets will reach their destination without any errors. UDP on the other hand stands for User Datagram Protocol. A datagram is the same thing as a packet of information. And UDP protocol works similarly to TCP, but it throws all the error checking stuff out. That's why UDP is much faster. It is used when speed is desirable and error correction is not necessary. For example, UDP is frequently used for live broadcasts and online games. That's why UDP doesn't really care whether packets received its destination and it will not resend a packet if it didn't reach the other part. It will just continue sending other packets. You cannot ask for those missing packets again with UDP and these are just the basics behind two most known protocols for communication. Even though many of you probably knew this already, it is good to have a refresher since we're going to need this knowledge once performing scanning. See you in the next video.